Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Hashtag No Filter with your boy King Lex, where nothing is left unsaid. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank y'all for coming on back. Today, I am so excited. You know what I'm saying? I've been fed it out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into it. I'm low key a silly squad. You know what I'm saying? So, I had the dynamic duo, Silly Girl Podcast in the building. Hey. What do you do? What do you do? Baby, we made it. We, we made it to the show, baby. We made it to the show. Baby, we made it to the show. We are so excited to be we're here. We're excited to be here with you. I know. I've been, been following their social media. I found them like one of your little Facebook groups. So I've been following them for like a couple months now. So Good. I'm glad that we got the network and they here with me yes, today. Yes, thank you for having us. Can you introduce the people to the Silly Girl Podcast? Where can they find y'all? Where can they hear y'all? Okay, what's good, y'all out there in the social media, YouTube, whatever, however you gonna see this, what's good? You see all of this goodness on your screen, baby. <laughs> My name is Charsler, and I am a um, co-host of the Silly Girls Podcast. You can actually find uh, our actual podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Anchor, however that you listen to your podcast platforms. Also, follow us on Instagram at Silly Girls Podcast. Um, on Instagram, we on Facebook. It's the same thing, <laughs> baby. It's the same thing on basically all platforms, okay? You know what I'm saying? You need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube so we can get them subscribers up. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, get them subscribers you know? up. Like, I mean, like, go fuck with your girls. Can I cuss on you? Yeah. Oh, okay, then. Go fuck with your girls. What's good? What's good? What's good? Like, okay, and then, hold on. I'm gonna, I'll pass it over to you, boo. What's oh, you, 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 you pass it yeah, over to What's good? What's good? Alexa. Play Silly Girls Podcast. Yeah. I'm your girl, Kiki. I am the other half of this dynamic duo, Silly Girls Podcast. The dynamic duo. Listen, she done already gave y'all that fly player introduction, so I ain't got to say too much, but I am happy to be here with you, Lex. Thank yes. you for having I'm us. I'm so happy y'all here. So, okay, my first question is, how did the Silly Girls Podcast form? Okay. And where did I get your name from? You want to go? Want me to go? I, okay, so... from. And why y'all talking? I'm with old Okay, and me, uh, me oh, and Charleston right. are we sorority sisters. Right. We pledge Delta Sigma Theta sorority incorporated okay. together, and we've always had this connection where we always were the ones on the on the line that kind of were like loud and extra and just the life of the party. You know, everybody's favorite cousin Delta <laughs> or whatever. And we always said that we were gonna do a um podcast. So one day I was like, Charleston, I'm gonna come up your house and we're gonna do a mukbang because I love watching mukbangs yeah. on um YouTube. Baby, she said, uh, we just gonna start our podcast and that was all, <laughs> that was all she wrote. It was all her. We've been planning to do it for years, but uh -huh. she just put it into motion when I went over to her house for a muck thing. Got you. Okay. Yeah, we we were supposed to be doing this for years. Yeah. So probably about seven, eight years ago. Yeah. But never you never know what did, saying, it. did it. And you so, know, if y'all would have started back then, we probably would have blew up by now. But yeah. boom, you feel me? But it's it's all God's timing. But yeah. When she, it is. when she said that, I was like, um, hold up. When you come over here, we're going to go ahead and get this shit popping. She yeah. sure did. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get it started because we've been procrastinating too long. Yeah. yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Let's go. How did y'all come up with your name? So we was going back and forth. And then I was like, I had, um, because it was something that it was like key and see something at first. Mm -hmm. And then I had made us just a flyer. Mm -hmm. And I had put silly girls, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, well, that's the damn name right there. Yeah. It, it was like a, you know what I'm saying? It was just on the just body. Flowed. It was just explaining who Key and C was, yeah. but when it says Silly Girl, she was like, that's the damn name. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, basically, it came off, I just put it on the flyer, and yeah. made ran, something, ran. and we ran with it. Because we that's really so are silly. Yeah, like, silly we, we can be serious, but we really are silly because we love to laugh. Yeah. You know, we always just like to be in a, a positive, like, I know everybody talk about vibes and energy and stuff, but we've always been this way since we were younger. Yeah. You know, because we've been friends for, well, sisters for I don't know how long. Over a decade. Over a decade. Yeah, how long did it? A long, long time. <laughs> it's probably like 17. It's probably 17. A long time. A met, long time. Yeah, I met her Shit. when she was 18. <laughs> I'm a little bit older. 17. 17. I met her when she was 17. So, and she's, how old are you? 21. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, long story you short. See it. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. You see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, so pour, it was basically. Shot. Okay, so we got to take a shot right now? We're, yeah, just, just you want, okay. Or you want brand? Because it's silly girls and hashtag no filter. Collab. So collab. Oh, baby, this is a collab. This is like the peanut butter and jelly that y'all been waiting on. It's the peanut butter and jelly you been waiting on. peanut butter without the jelly, you without feel me? Jelly. So you want clear or you want brand? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get this brand. Okay. Well, you, you know what you want me. I know I can't mix. Okay. Okay, listen. Okay, can you pay some? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me say this. For all the people looking, 
Your girl don't drink. <laughs> she don't I do. drink. I don't drink. So I told you know like a little baby side. Hold on, listen. So I want y'all to know. Look, listen to all of my, you know what I'm saying? My people that there to be, you know what I'm saying, in my DMs. Don't be trying to, you know what I'm saying, get at me because I'm going to be a little tipsy tonight. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's write the glasses in the air. Damn. Damn. Ooh, wonderful episode. Wonderful episode. Hey. Yeah, I heard my chest already. I'm a punk. Ooh. Salute. Ooh. So I need like oh, a little. Oh, see, I should have got some juice or something. Baby, well, I can't. I'm, I can't Straight no chest. Yeah, because you all, you all like a little diet, right? So basically what happened, um, Rodney Perry had did a cleanse. Okay. It was a fruit and veggie cleanse okay. or whatever. And so I was going to do a cabbage cleanse. I'm going to hold this in okay. if you do some more shots. So I was going to do a cabbage cleanse. And so when I saw that, I had texted him, mm-hmm. and I was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and jump on this fruit and veggie cleanse with you mm-hmm. or whatever. And it was just going to be for two weeks. And so it wasn't to, like, to lose weight or anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, the girl being, you know what I'm saying, plus size. And you know what I'm saying? I love all of this. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, but it was just to, you know what I'm saying, to to do some, you know what I'm saying, some lifestyle changes yeah. because... I have been eating unhealthy all of my fucking life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I never, nobody ever, we've been eating unhealthy because we were poor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And we ate what we had. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so yeah. it was nobody taught us about nutrition or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. And so when I started the um, fruit and veggie cleanse with Rodney or whatever, and I was like, damn, this ain't hard as I thought. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, I'm thinking that I was going to be craving meat or craving, you know what I'm saying, something, but I really don't, I'm, I'm probably the, a big girl that, you know what I'm saying, that barely eats mm-hmm. and barely eats, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. a lot of stuff. Like, I probably eat one today, and it'd be the wrong shit. Yeah. It'd be junk all day, yeah. or it'd be fast food. And that'd food. be the thing. That'd be the thing. Yeah. I eat a lot of processed food. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying, it was a thing of just switching, and so, in that first week, I had saw, like, a difference in my face, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I had saw, like, a difference in, like, my whole, you know what I'm saying, like, how... It, I, I just felt better. It just felt, you know what I'm saying, better. Yeah. And so, because it was so easy to me, I was like, fuck it. Yeah. Let's keep this shit going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so now, basically, I incorporate a lot of uh, vegan type of meals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so now, I'm just now um, eating chicken and fish. I'm yeah. adding it with it. Yeah. So, okay. that's basically some. But I went cold turkey on candy, fast food, processed food, bread, basically every fucking thing. And you just went cold turkey? Yeah, yeah. she did. Yeah. If, like, if I'm, a, I mean, I'm a person like if I put it in my fucking mind, it's a wrap. You know, I it's have to process myself out mm-hmm. on certain things. Yeah, you got to win yourself. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I have to like take steps. So yeah. for you to go cold turkey, that's a G. It it, is. It, it, anything I put my mind to, I always just, I just flip and I don't even look at the you know what I'm saying the other side. Yeah. Like, well, as for just... me, <laughs> no. I mean, I've got, I started this week. I started mm-hmm. to incorporate mm-hmm. the healthier um, lifestyle. Before then, I kept saying, I'm a store, and I was like, I ain't doing shit. But I would be FaceTiming her, and she'll be meal prepping. Or if I come over, house, I'm like, I'm hungry. She'll have, like, some chickpeas or something. Oh. And I'll eat it, because I'm not a fruit eater. Okay. Whatever. But I said, you know what, my dog doing it, you know what I'm saying? She changing it and eating it up. And I'm like, you know what, since I have PCOS and what she's doing is what I need to do anyway to regulate my body and my hormones. Mm-hmm. I'm like, let me get on it. So today is day two. Okay. For me, but she been on it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just day two for me. So hopefully. Yeah, I start somewhere. Yeah, hopefully mm-hmm. later on you'll see something different. But God damn it, them cookies be called me. I mean, with well, her, she do really good. She got, she's very strong will, strong minded. Yeah. She's like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. Like with me, I be like, okay, I'm, I'm going to backslide. And then tomorrow she got stored up. I'm always starting over. But I can unstick for two days. I've been good. My no, that's good. Okay, so we're going we gonna to start off with an icebreaker. Okay. So it's going it's called and what 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 and we love to bust out the song. We yeah, uh, ain't no wrong with a good song. Yes. I keep a good selection. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> I'm a walking jukebox. Okay, no, 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 I'm like, we'll get into it. Yeah. Okay. People call me uh, Beyonce. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, B, we gonna always shout out. B. What up, B? It's our sister. Say shout out to B. Uh, so what it is? If I say so, I'm gonna give you two options. Okay. You can say this. You can say that. Mm-hmm. But if you say neither or both, y'all take a shot. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. Do we probably not already fill up or no? Oh, okay. we can fill up. You might not take you a shot. Have, come on, man. I, have, I have faith in them. You know, I got faith. We're, we're gonna, open books. We gonna start. We gonna start. Uh, look easy. Okay. A cheating nigga or a broke nigga? Oh damn! 
I'm going to say a broke nigga. A broke nigga? I'm going to say that because you can always help a broke nigga get a job, but a cheap nigga going to cheat. So I'm going to oh. a broke nigga. Neither. Go ahead and give me the shot. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> I mean, like if if he if he is broke, I mean, oh, we, we, yeah, go, we can say we either have, or neither. Now, if you take so, me, if you say both or neither, you gotta take a shot. Okay, well, I know we can say neither, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna roll it, it's with like you. it's like <laughs> at, at this point in life, I, I can't I can't deal with with you. You broke. I'm gonna take a shot too. So many too. fucking problems. Exactly. I, I, okay, I, but I see, can't do either. Yeah, motherfucking yeah, I, want, I want paying attention to the game because mm. normally when we play the games, it ain't no you have to pick one or the other. Yeah. So let me retract. Woo! Shit. Let me retract. Fuck. Look, let me retract for the record. Mm. I'ma say neither either, but I thought that I had to pick one or the other. Okay, Ooh, so Lord. neither. Mm. Hell to the now. <laughs> okay. Broke nigga should be cheating if you ain't got nothing to do with playing the dick. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> what is your definition of broke? <laughs> broke is like they saying your shit. Exactly. Okay, well, no. They, <laughs> Three words. <laughs> she neither. Say, I said that. You was like, hell no. Nah. Nah. You neither. You know what I'm saying? Fool for me. Ne- neither. See, that, that's, why listen, neither. that's why listening is fundamental. I, listen, thought, is fundamental. I thought it was either or. You said this. You said this or that or neither, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Tariq, if you looking, neither. Okay. Mm, I'm, I'm glad yeah. since you ain't want that. that, that yeah, I took a shot though. Ooh, no. Okay. Let Y'all me, ready? Yes. <laughs> losing feeling during sex or losing taste during sex? <laughs> neither. <laughs> neither? Le- I, you know what? Le- lose the taste. Yeah, I ain't heard I, I, I picked one. I so rather I gotta, lose taste. I rather lose taste. Yeah, because it's you like, like sucking dick. I love <laughs> listen, But listen, that's what I'm saying. Listen, I like sucking dick, right? But if I'm sucking it, I ain't really tasting it, but he's still feeling that pleasure. Don't mean that he ain't feeling shit. But just keep my mouth on him. That's true. You feel me? You know but, what I'm saying? So I really, I really can do that. God got that. That God got three thousand gonna be on hundred. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say neither because I love the taste. Mm, you love so, the taste of dick. Do. Okay. <laughs> neither. Do. Neither. I need it all. I need all senses oh. while I'm doing that thing. Oh. Oh. I rather lose taste because most times I don't want to taste that. Yeah, exactly. I do. So I rather. I rather. Yeah. I, I, rather, I, I, rather, I yeah. do. I don't want to freaking uh, eat. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to. I ain't bad at you. Okay, this is this an easy one. Okay. Lil Kim or Nicki Minaj. Look him. Look him. Look him too. All day. All day, every day. I love Look Nikki him. though. I do love Nikki. Yeah. But I'm a Lil Kim fan. Look him day. to the core me. You know what I'm saying? We grew up like, you know, I grew up like practicing her rhymes in the, you know what I'm yeah. saying, the mirror or whatever. Like, yeah. you know. It'll be look uh, it'll be Lil Kim for me because I like I just love how um sexually open she was. She was free. Mm-hmm. She didn't give a damn what she said. She used to be scared of the dick. Now she throw her lips to the shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and then Nikki came out. She's all right, but she, I would pick, I always pick her over. Pick yeah. Kim yeah. over Nikki. She, sure. She's like the blueprint of, you know what I'm saying, all, Nikki. All, 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 yeah. all, all yeah. of it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So the fact that how she was a boss in a man's lane, that's the shit that I love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Especially back then. That's yeah. what I'm saying. She, she was like one of the girls, uh, all the niggas like, I like shit like this, so hell yeah. yeah. I yeah. like that she hell wants yeah. to say what the fuck she hell like. Yeah. Right. Yep. She didn't have, she didn't care what people mm-hmm. say. That's what I love about her. Okay, yes, this next one, I don't know. This might get y'all. Okay. Good head, but no good D. Okay. A good D and bad head. Neither. Neither. Neither because, shot. baby, me and her talking about this. I, listen, I crave fucking head, okay? <laughs> and then after that head, you have to come with that good D. So it's like, you have to come with both. It's, it's like, to be honest, I need, the, oh, oh, I need yeah. the combination. I already know her answer. I need the combination flurry. You got to have, I call it combination flurry. You got that good head, then you come with that good dick. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a wrap. Like, I, I, it's, I need both. Just don't come with just no one good thing. Because if you got that good dick, like, I need that, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I need, I, need, I need that too. Now go ahead and say she wants oh, a good penis. Yeah, she and I'm talking about the man here because he, I love. Although I love here, it ain't a requirement for me. Yeah. But I love, I love the penetration. So, Got you. Yeah. Uh, it's a requirement. Hey, to my future husband. Get your stroke game up and get that tongue game up. I need them both, nigga. You better come and you better know what the fuck you doing, okay? Well, I want him to know how. I want like I'm not. I don't want him to be against doing it. Like, I don't yeah. see myself being with somebody who be like, it's a head, because you like, are you 12? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? It's not a deal breaker if he suck, because you always be taught. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. I, feel you I want that good D, though, because that a, this thing. Hello? Okay, now the last, this is the last one. This is an easy one. Okay. Walmart or Target? Walmart! I- Walmart got the 
best deal. Walmart. You know what? People sleep on Walmart. Now, I will say this. I might not buy a... Well, I'm lying. Because I might buy a TV out of Walmart, a groceries, and get a sewing kit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you get a whole shebang out of Walmart. I'm going to say Target. Only because I like walking around Target not buying shit. I just like the smell of it. Mm. I like Target. I like their Target's a bougie I like they, Walmart. I like their popcorn and I just like the aesthetics of it. Like to, when I walk in Target, I feel like if I'm having a bad day, I can walk around Target and I feel like, oh. I feel like you, I went in Target and looked at strawberries. Why are strawberries $5.49? Exactly. See, I'm, not, I'm not purchasing anything from Target. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a real person. Frugal. Frugal She's as very hell. frugal. Yeah. And so, yeah. baby, everything is at Walmart. You can go to Walmart and some of this $2 are going to be $5 at, Walmart, at Target, like you said. I right. love I'm Walmart. Like, yeah, I love Walmart to shop, but for if you're asking me to pick or choose, I like Target because I like to walk around it and just look. I don't be buying shit. I go on Amazon, but yeah. I like to walk around Target. I like the Target has nice like home. It's clean. It's crisp. Too, it's crisp. Walmart got everything. Walmart got everything. Everything. They, everything. <laughs> and it's cheaper. I mean, you, can find, you can find anything. Yeah, at Walmart. The people at my Walmart know me because I'm there about a couple times a week. Oh god, yeah. I'm there all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. There all the time. But we need some. Uh, I go. Uh, yeah, but I'm I, there all the time. Target popcorn yeah. off the chain. Yeah, yeah. I like Target popcorn. Well, that's the end of L one. Okay, so I put my shot of gas in. Okay, he, take he, my last one. Yeah, he bro. trying to get me drunk. I already and feel your my girl look a little bit. Y'all don't drink nothing, so y'all gonna see me just start sweating over here. I'm just saying. But baby, if you need me to take your shot for you, I do some run for you if you get sick. Okay. Oh, no, no, I'm a co host for you. That's a co host for you. I'm gonna take you today. Take, I, okay. I ain't doing no treatment. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get into the first topic. Okay. Yes. So I one thing I I hate the term, and I'm gonna see how y'all feel. Can you turn a hoe into a housewife? I hate that term because, to be completely honest, I feel like you are you have to hold to find who you gonna be with. You better shut your mouth. <laughs> you better shut your fucking mouth. So I'm like, I always thought, why do they say, "Can you turn a hoe into a housewife?" Because nine times out of ten, and sometimes folks have to keep uh bring their hoe into the housewife. You know, let me... In the I, house life. Let me tell you something. You want me to go first? Yo, go ahead. Okay, so... So we, how y'all feel about the term, yo? We're very big on women having a whole phase. And what we consider a whole phase, we call it experiment and research. And where a woman is just figuring out what she like. And, you know, getting herself ready. So when she meet the one, her soulmate, her husband, she could be all there and then some for him. Mm -hmm. So he won't be like... Even though he may look at other where he know that he, at home, she gonna do from A to Z. Yeah. I think that the term turning a hoe into a house like came from them like the old days. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because it was so frowned upon for a woman to be promiscuous. Yeah, yeah. you couldn't even wear red nails or red lipstick back then without them thinking you were a yeah, hoe. Yeah. Um I've never seen my grandma in a pair of pants. You know, really? I think every woman should have a hoe should be a hoe for their man. So yeah. I, I believe you can turn a hoe into a housewife. It's just some of these men are turning with some hoes into wives not knowing they hoes. Because hoes ain't going to say they hoes unless the bros speak on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so half these bitches that's married are hoes. I ain't even lying. Yeah. And ain't nothing wrong with being a hoe as long as you're a good one. Yeah. So I don't like that term either because I'm like, I guess because now I'm at an age where it's like, Sex is like breathing. Like, do you? If yeah. you want to fuck Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike, fuck them. Yeah, and yeah. fuck the shit out of them. So when they tell... You better fuck Ronnie, Bobby, uh, Ricky, Ricky, and, and Mike. Mike. So, <laughs> look, so, so when they tell Alex, I'm going to say, but ask him, was I good, though? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I be, that phrase is bullshit and played out. I do believe it just came from, you know, back in the day when women were frowned. You, you couldn't be... Free, yeah. you couldn't. That's why our grannies was stuck with our papa sleeping in different rooms yeah, and shit. Like my yeah. pop, my granny stayed in the front room and my papa stayed in the back room. Yeah. And I'm like, why the fuck is he back there? Now that I'm older and thinking about it, because he was fucking a woman at the damn butcher. Mm. Mm. Then my granny was able to be free. Yeah. And do her damn thing. She would have got her son too. I hate that phrase too. So, lady, if you a hoe, be a hoe. <laughs> be all the hoe you want. <clears throat> hey, I, you know what? <laughs> First of all, let me say. I'm glad the camera's on me right now because they always saying that, but you can't, the niggas are hoes and we supposed to turn y'all to husbands? <laughs> Fuck. You know double. what I'm saying? Like, I don't uh, like this shit because at the end of the fucking day, you know what I'm saying? We need to figure out, you know what I'm saying, what you consider a hoe. Because first of all, if I'm single, Mufasa that hurl can get what the fuck Mufasa want. What okay? Mufasa? Mufasa. 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 You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell me a motherfucking thing about who I fuck and any of that. So, again, like I said, if I'm single, 
I can fuck who the fuck I want. You can call me what you want. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Again, like when it's time to be with my, you know what I'm saying, that one person, of course I would cut off, you know what I'm saying, whoever I'm messing with. But however, you know what I'm saying, you can turn anybody into a husband or a wife. You, you know what I'm saying? Fuck all that. Somebody, you can't turn the whole into. Yes, niggas do it all the time. I do I, it all, all the time. fucking time. All Before the time. these niggas, you know what I'm saying, get with these. First of all, niggas always say that, but you know what? The main thing that they like is a hoe. That's what I'm talking Let, Let's be honest. That's the main fucking, you know what I'm saying? They love a freak. So they, they, they love the bitches that think, you know what, what I'm saying? That, that do what? all the other that's bullshit. A, what's you know what I'm saying? Hoe? What is what a hoe? Uh, what, what, yeah, what's, what's, what, what's, what's your Okay, let me tell you. A hoe to me, a hoe to me is somebody that get paid for sex. Okay. Prostitution. Prostitution. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's what a hoe to okay. me is. A whore. Yeah. A, 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 a whore. <laughs> that's a fancy one. She's a, a whore. whore. Now, a whore. A whore. A whore. A whore might not get paid. A whore might not get paid. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just gonna keep it real. Can I say it's like a, you know niggas? I was just somebody. They say head. I just talked about it. At the end of the day, it's like if I'm single and I wanted you and I got you. Nigga, I just got your dick. Like, you was easy. Like, they yeah. trying to take me easy. Nigga, you was easy. I just had, you know what I'm saying? I just saw you and then I fucked. Like, yeah. nigga, you easy. Don't talk about that. I'm easy, bitch. You gave me a dick. It ain't kind of no. Like, don't nobody want, don't fuck? nobody want nobody that's inexperienced anyway. Exactly. And we, 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 just, we just had a podcast. We just had a podcast about this saying that. What does is, numbers, does body count matter? I think when you get you older, know what I think that when you get older, they, like, when I was in high school, you know, and a girl was doing it with everybody. You like she was a hoe. Yeah. That was the definition of. It. But as you get older, like don't what happened before you doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, if I want to screw you and then screw him and then screw you, that's fine. I'm not married to nobody, like she said. Like I think that when you're single, you can do what you want to do because it, it shows you what you want. It builds character. Yeah. So let me ask y'all this. So like going through that whole phase, mm -hmm. you get with somebody and their sex is whack. Mm -hmm. That's like, why you go through the whole phase. They're inexperienced. Do you feel like, well, let me first, how would you tell your significant partner, baby, this ain't hitting? And do you feel like they can be trained? Well, you know, I always fuck them before I start going with them. I ain't gonna lie. To <laughs> <laughs> and we being honest, what, what we looking at? And we being honest, you know, because normally when you date somebody, y'all go out and, you know, hang out, you fuck. You ain't yeah. going together. And you kind of realize after you fuck if you want to be with somebody. And then do it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We can be. Can I be transparent? This is a safe space. This is a safe space. This is a safe space. Hashtag no filter. Hashtag no filter. Hashtag no filter. Fuck it. So reason why, like, if you ask me about people I fuck with, it's because I don't give second chances. Yeah. If the first time you ain't doing it right, I'm not gonna give you a second chance. Unless I may. If I like you. But for the most part, I don't. And so as far as you saying, what would you do to somebody who's not good? I got some head before with somebody and he just wasn't doing it right. I started watching motherfucking Law and Order. <laughs> I had to tap his head like, stop. That ain't it. Like, no, you have to, to me, when you fucking with somebody, they have to be open to that criticism. Because if I'm not arching my back right, or if I'm not throwing it back right, if I ain't squeezing enough, tell me. Because I'm, uh, I'm open for it. Yeah. I'm not going to get in my feelings. I want to know what I'm doing wrong so that if we're going to continue on, I can please you. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to tell you. And if you offended by that, then it's your problem. Yeah. But I'm going to yeah. tell you what I don't like. Because I, I feel, feel like you like, have to be honest. You instead. have to. Because I'm not, you wasting, you doing an injustice to yourself and them. I agree. You have to tell them, I'm not. I this don't like shit. it. Yeah. Okay. Um. For me, if it's just in my, if it was in my whole face, um, and you was whack, I just sit there and I'm like, I can't wait for this shit to be over. And soon as he, you know, what I'm saying, leave, I'm blocking. I'm That's not calling no more. I'm not doing nothing. Yeah. But if you are, you know, what I'm saying, somebody that I like that I'm going to be with, yeah. Then it, I'm about training because I ain't finna train you for no bitch that you know. What I'm saying I don't yeah. want you. Yeah. So, you know, what I'm saying like I'm like whatever, nigga, go on do whatever. You know, because he might got a big thing. You know what I'm saying? You I'm, got like, I'm like, nigga, go on do what the fuck you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if it was my nigga, I'm like, hold, hold on, baby, like right there, hold on, right there. Yeah. Listen, I need you to look fast. I mean, you know, what I'm saying I, I'm training <laughs> him, but somebody else, I'm like, nigga, go on, on with your lame big ass. You know what I'm saying? But for my nigga, I'm I'm about training, but somebody else, I don't give a fuck, and yeah. I, I won't say shit. To be honest, I ain't even gonna say you wait. Yeah. I'm just I'm just going to ignore you. You know if what I'm saying? Like, block you. Yeah, if I like you, I'ma ask. Okay, well, how was it? Yeah. And if he say oh, it was good, I'm say just good. Like, what do you think I can improve on? Because I'm always about perfecting. It's always room for growth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because what you may like may not like somebody else. Might like so you yeah. ask? Absolutely. And see, I don't ask. If, I, I, if I, I'm comfortable, you know what I'm if I'm comfortable, it's like you know what? If I, if, if I you, you ask, ask too? Yeah. If, if, if I know, if I hear you moaning. 
if I if I hear you moving right, if it's the body language, that's if, true if, too. If I see that body that, language says a like lot. If, 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 if I'm doing something, and you ain't got no sounds, then I know that you don't like it. Yeah. But if I get a sound up at it, I'm like, got his head. Got him. You know what I mean? But but, in, but even with the sounds and the body language, I still ask because you know motherfuckers act on porn. Mm-hmm. They be doing it just yeah. because that's what they think they mm-hmm. supposed to do. And you know everybody think niggas uh, automatically say that somebody coochie is good. Yeah. They think anybody. They did get hard. They fuck anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I ask, especially if I'm comfortable with you and then we on like a consistent basis. You my sneaky link mm-hmm. or you my fuck buddy. I'ma ask you, but like, did you like it? Mm-hmm. And if you be like, yeah. Or you know, normally when it's good, they will tell you, oh, I like when you did this, you did that. So I like to get feedback. Yeah, I'm so saying, I listen. Know. I want you before we even, you know, what I'm saying. Like fuck, I need to already be having this sexual conversation with yeah. you. Because so, I, I need you, you know what I'm saying? You tell me like how you like your hair? You like it sloppy? Yeah. Cause some niggas don't like it sloppy. They want it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you know, yeah. probably like, you know, whatever. So I need you to know, like you want you like riding, like I bet I'm having all these conversations before I actually have a sex sexual with you. interview. So, that's what I'm saying. So after you tell me now I'm notating, okay, damn, he like it sloppy. Okay, yeah. man, like you know what I'm saying. So basically, I'm a I'm a pleaser. Yeah. So I'm going to do whatever it is to please I'm you. You know what I'm saying? Too. Like, because basically, I don't want you to leave her and be like, damn, they not. I'm a pleaser. So you like it sloppy. You like it, ah, 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 like whatever it is. So basically, it's like that's why I'm like, I ain't, I'm gonna ask you prior. Right. Are you a pleaser, you know what I'm Alex? Are you a pleaser? No, I am. No, no I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Okay, the way. I'm going to tell you. Okay, come on. <laughs> I, like, I like to please you. Yeah. But at the same time, I need to be turned on. Mm-hmm. I don't want... I, I like to please, but at the same time, I need you to be doing something. Yeah. yeah. I don't want you just laying there and I, I got to ride. You then gotta I got to suck. Then I got to <laughs> leave. Then no, I listen, gotta do it. It's like two pleasers that get together. I, 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 I don't like fucking with nobody who's not a pleaser. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm a pleaser, I need to be fucking with a pleaser. Yeah. That's the best sex ever. Yeah. When you know, I'm trying to please you, trying to please me. Yeah. Like we competition, like nigga, like yeah. we going in, like it's like ah, you know what I'm saying. But if I'm just a pleaser and you just sitting there, it's like. I'm not gonna call you tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you are pleasing me, I'm like, nigga, we locked in. Like, yeah. what's good? What you doing tomorrow? You know what I'm yeah. saying? What you doing next week? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it, it, so it's like two pleasers that get together. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Bum. But at the end of the day, it's like, if I see that you're not a pleaser, then I'm not gonna please you. Selfish. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I feel you. Okay, let yeah. me ask you this. I'm gonna ask y'all this. What is your worst sexual experience? Oh, why you ask that? You, I don't, you want me to go or you go? I'm gonna go first. Okay, okay you go, go first. first. My the mine wasn't even like the sex was bad. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Okay. So I I was kicking it with this nigga, okay. and we had we had sex. It was good. Mm-hmm. It was cool. I mean, immediately after it was done. I mean, we both bam. You know yeah. What I'm okay. Come on. I heard shoot, somebody open the door. Somebody open the bedroom door. They nigga walk in. <laughs> <laughs> They look at me, they throw their bag against the bed, they walk around, they go in the bathroom, they come back out, they was like, I don't know who you are, but you need to go. No way. I, now, listen, I'm going to tell you this. If I was in my, well, that wouldn't happen in my shit, okay. but if I was like, I don't know, maybe, if I went in, if I was in the, went in their house, I would probably act with a fool, but yeah. this is somebody else, you don't know what they got. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm in You there. did good. Exactly. You did exactly. good. Yeah. I would have shit yeah. on I would have shitted on myself. I, I, I've I, never yeah. been in a position like that. It, it threw me off because the nigga I was with never gave me any indication. <laughs> The thing was like Ooh. in a situation or had something they never going knew. on. So when, when so when they popped in, yeah. it was like it fucked you out. Really. What the fuck? And that's fucked up because he could they could have put you in a position. To I could have got shot. Exactly. Yeah, that's up. That's why I would have been fighting. Yes. Yep. Thank God the nigga came in and just said you gotta go. He must be used to it. He gotta be used to it for him to come in there calm and you. Just, now look, quiet as a skit. What? Quiet is a skin. No. <laughs> okay, go. Go, y'all. I, I really... I haven't... I don't have, like... My days of exploring with people and bad sex is over. I that ain't been fucking with nobody like that for years. But mm. if I have to think back on the story, I really hate to say it because I hope you're not looking at this. But his... I used to always, like, go and fuck him. But I never... I never just looked at his dick. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And so <laughs> one you day gotta I, look at the dick. I didn't because I was I examined because dick it was all the time. Because it was such a good vibe. I always felt comfortable. It was never pressure to have sex. It was just one of the things where it kind of happened. Mm-hmm. 
it was a ring pop. It was probably the size of that shot glass. And we had to fuck like we was a, but like lesbians with the scissor Scissors. position. So this me and this him, and we just fucking. And I was kind of like, why are we always fucking like this? And then when I went to go grab it, I was like, you see how little my hand is? Do y'all see how little my fist is? My whole hand covered it. But he's such a great person, and we're really cool. Like, we don't really... Was the sex good? I don't really remember because it was... I mean, I think it was... No. If you don't remember... I don't remember. So, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't memorable. It wasn't memorable. It wasn't memorable. Mm. (laughs) Charles. Okay, let me me say this. Um, Mine was... I have a, a couple. But mine... It was one of our fraternity brothers... Um, you already know what the story I'm finna say. Ooh, um, so this oh, man had the biggest fucking put your hand right there. I have ever Look at fucking this. saw in my life. Okay, that motherfucker was long, thick, girthy. He didn't have a baby leg, y'all. He had a motherfucking infant. Okay, yeah. in his motherfucking pants. And he <laughs> it out, you know, mind you, you know what I'm saying? Like your girl, you know what I'm saying? Mufasa is tight, then or she's tight, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she got walls, you feel me? Um, so this nigga, you know what I'm saying, when he first tried to put it in, like Alex, like it was like, I was like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? It, it felt it felt like he was, you know what I'm saying, splitting my pussy open. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? That shit was so motherfucking it was, it was, you know how like women say that they want big dicks, like no, you don't want big, big dicks. You want a, you know what I'm saying? A, a nice you know what I'm saying? size. To be honest, one. The best size dick is just a normal size dick. That's the best sex. Yeah. Because if it's too big, that shit is so, it, it hurt it so bad. Trust me. It hurt it so fucking bad. What was you? Huh? She's a she, I was a runner. runner. She's, She's a track star. She <laughs> run away when it gets hard. <laughs> you know, I was running for <laughs> life. You know what I'm saying? And, and then I'm like, oh my gosh. So in my head, I'm like, oh shit. Charles, I was like, man, <laughs> up. Was like, man up. Take that dick. Take that dick. You got that. Take that dick. And I was like, but my coach was like, bitch, bro, bitch, you can't take that dick. I was like, fuck. And so then, you know what I'm saying? He flipped me over and it was hitting me from the back. I was, I was like, oh shit. Like, listen, like I, was, I felt like my pussy needed stitches. I was like, oh shit. So, you know what I'm saying? He, he was getting, you know what I'm saying, irritated. He, he was like, man, he was like, throw it back. Like, you know, stop running. And in my head, I'm like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm trying, but I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like. So, he didn't know. I didn't know. Like, he got mad at me. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? He left. And I feel bad because I'm like, all, all, my, all of my past, all them niggas, can't nobody say nothing bad about it. But I'm like, that nigga right there, I know he can say something bad about it. He, he can tell like, everybody that I was running. I'm like, I ain't mad at him. So, you know what I'm saying? So, what happened was. I said, I said, I gotta fuck this nigga one more time. Cause I gotta take this dick. He, I can't go out like no punk. I can't go out like no punk. So I, I hit him up and I was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You can come back over and then, you know what I'm saying? We can try it again. So he, he was like, he said, you better not be running this time. I was like, okay. I said, I said, I was, wasn't ready for you. You know what I'm saying? He came back over. I swear that motherfucker dick grew. I'm just saying, I cannot take it no more. Like, I was like, fuck. It was that big. It was that big. But keep when it, this is over, do you got a picture? But I, no, I, keep, I, keep, this, keep in mind, though, that he ain't big as this fucking he microphone is skinny thing. He is skinny as fuck. And he is skinny. They said it's the little them short look, motherfucker. Look, look, look. Them little short motherfuckers. When I listen, that motherfucker. I don't know I where he was packing that he, shit. Listen, he that motherfucker, it. I'm not lying. Like, that was the. Fuck, look, watch it, porn them. No, his shit was bigger than the motherfuckers on porn. I, I felt like so fucking bad, and I'm like, oh my god, in my head, I'm like, I just gotta take that L. But you know what? I didn't wanna take the L, but I had to take the L. You did what you had to do. I did, I tried. Fellas, if you, you have, try. No, if you have a huge one, don't be out here trying to penetrate women like it's the new, the way to, cause you be, when we running, that don't mean it's good. That mean we uncomfortable. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, let me say this. I like a little pain, you know what I'm saying? It's a little good. A little pressure. There, there, there was, there was, there was too much. Yeah. It, I'm surprised I you got you, walls. Mufasa, I, I, girl, Mufasa, Mufasa make her right. daddy, You know what I'm saying? But I promise you, there was so, it was so I'm bad. bad. It was it's so Mufasa. bad. Yeah, <laughs> Mufasa, that motherfucker, the king of the jungle. But it was, it was, it was so bad. Like. I was running oh my for days. God. She always, that she, is hilarious. She always tell that story. And every time she tell it, I just be like, Because wow. every time I ask, I'm like, oh, shit. Them mother- Cause am I any bitch that he fuck with? I know she ain't got no walls. Or she must have had like five babies or something. And them, they cool down her in time. I'm like, nah, nigga. I like, the, I like my, my shit tight. Like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like, like that I'm either. Like, mm. Okay, so 
the, the last thing I want to do here is dare consequences. Okay. You know, y'all watch hashtag no filter. You know, this is something we do. So I told both of them to come with a dare for each other and to come with a gift for each other. Now, if they don't want to do the dare, you don't have to do the dare, but you got to pull from the jar of consequence mm. and kill the key legs to collect the prize. Mm. You, so, me, you said we collect the prize. Key legs do. Oh, you collect what prize? If, if, if you don't do the dare. Okay. Okay. So, who want to try something? You want to go first? Or you can dare. my dare, huh? Yeah, what's your dare you got for Okay. Her? My dare for you is to text the dude that you messing with. You can't, not, you can't tell him it's a joke. Tell him that you want to lick peanut butter off his ass. <laughs> she got the text! It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. And you can't tell him it's a joke for 24 hours. Okay. You can't tell him until tomorrow. That's it. So basically, she has to text the nigga that she's fucking. <laughs> and she want to eat peanut butter off his ass, and don't even reply. Don't say nothing. You can call everything hours. else up. Let me just make sure she sees it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And that, that you can't say nothing. Nothing else. She, 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 said, she said that mommy. Okay. Okay. What's she wearing? What's she yeah. wearing? Oh, she, I give up my prize? Yeah. Okay, so it, it was it was two gifts. Oh. So. Like the opening now? Opening now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Opening now. Let us see what you got. I got me a planner. Oh, so okay. I, because we. Yeah. I didn't want, I she didn't got her headphones. She had just said she needs headphones, so I went out. Oh, you're welcome, baby. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And she know I love. Oh, no, hello, she she know I love cups. cups and I love sparkly pink. shit. I love girly stuff. Oh, <laughs> I'm a mermaid. <laughs> thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. Colorful stuff. You did good. Look, she she got she done came up. You ready? All right, Kiki. What's you up ready there? See? I'm I'm ready. You, you supposed to say let's go get them. I'm let's, trying to get. Okay. You ready? See? Let's go get them. <laughs> right there is to text. You know who? Ooh. And tell him to come beat it. Tell him that you want him. You want to um taste him so bad, and that you want him after you taste him, you want him to bend you over, pull your hair, and beat it at the front. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> text him and say you want to taste him so bad. And listen, hold on. okay. I'm, I'm I want y'all to understand this. I already texted this man today and told him to come fuck my face. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's, that's me. I did. So, we just gonna go ahead and add to this shit. Let's okay. Go. Let's, Let's go. get it. You know, you I like, like what thing I like about the City Girls podcast? Like, what's good? I got, you know, they like, gonna do what the fuck they gonna do. Like, what's good? Yeah. I told you, I'm like, you can come fuck my face. Like, we go turn. Like, I got a lot of shit. We go turn. Oh. Wait a minute. He done replied to you. Oh, hold on. Okay, well, what, do I, hold on. what do I want to say to him again? Look. Legs, he said. Oh yeah, me too. What I want to say to him again? That you want to um. You I don't wanna, know. Now you know that I I want to taste. And then you, you want him to pull your hair, pull my and hair, and beat it at the front. And beat it beat, out beat, the beat, 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 beat it out the front. <laughs> it's nothing. It is. Again, like I said, I had already texted him. I mean, I, well, I really. Don't so fuck my face today. Like, what's good? Like, Lex, I owe you. I, I owe you a gift. No. Oh. No. I want to. I'm a. No, I do owe you one. Charles, uh, let's see what you got. Oh, damn, we should have brought him a gift. That's why I said we no. want pinky. And I, I, I already we had it at the house. house. My, we had it at the I'm house. So, I'm so, no, so we have it at the no, house. No, don't you worry. Listen, you go, y'all gonna see y'all gonna see us again. Y'all gonna see us again. Y'all gonna see us again. Yeah, y'all definitely coming back. Coming back. Okay. This okay. family, man. We do a seafood boy. Oh, that'd be good. Now. I, I was already talking about I want to start cooking on my show. Yeah, that was on my vision. Oh, washing machine. Oh, this is a makeup girl. Thank you. She, Listen, this is a makeup brush washing machine. Yeah, because oh, she okay. always um every time I FaceTime her makeup on point. Every thank time you. I FaceTime her, she always washing her makeup Wh brushes. Makeup so brushes. I think this is a makeup uh brush. I mean machine for makeup brushes. Oh. And her nails when she ain't got them done, she like to she's very beautiful, so she like to paint her own nails, and she always eat. Blowing them so it's a nail dryer. Thank you, sis. Hold on, let me see. If well, it, it was such a pleasure having these beautiful it's ladies. It's over. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it went by so fast. 
Yes, I'm just saying. Like, well, when you're having a good time, like, flies, uh, time flies listen, by. make sure that y'all really, you know what I'm saying, subscribe. Make sure y'all fuck with him. Like, we love him. Yeah, we came in, I'm you know what I'm saying? Him. He was so, you know what I'm saying, amazing. NG and her is amazing, you know what I'm saying? Oh. And, you know, he he's made us our feel comfortable. He's our first. He took our, uh, our um, took podcast virginity to visit other podcasts yeah. platforms. So, he and popped you, my chair. And YouTube <laughs> channel. So, y'all got to go and follow King Lex because yeah. I love him. And y'all go follow City Girls Podcast. Yes. They don't give y'all a good quote of the week. They don't give y'all a good a laugh. Song. They don't give y'all a good selection. All yeah, of that. Man. Y'all go follow them. Do y'all want to plug anything else? Tell the people anything else before we log out. Just go and follow us at City Girls. Which one? Where I'm looking? It just follow us at Silly Girls Podcast mm-hmm. um, on Instagram and on Facebook, and you can email us at Silly Girls Podcast at yahoo.com because we do have letters that we read every Sunday on our podcast for our listeners that write in that want us to just answer questions for them. Mm-hmm. I want to say, you know, what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to say this because I know that your channel is going to grow and it's going to be amazing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm speaking right now. Like, what you have is amazing. I love it. You're doing what you're doing. I know that, you know what I'm saying, you're doing it by yourself. You have no partner, but it takes, you know what I'm saying, somebody strong to stand on by themselves. You know what I'm saying? And so because you are standing by yourself, you know what I'm saying, just it's all your vision. It's going to be all of your, you know what I'm saying, your grind, your work. Keep grinding. Don't give a fuck what nobody's saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, like, you know, it's all about you and yeah. growing your brand keep it up i don't care you know what i'm saying if it's one fucking like a fucking week or whatever it don't care don't look at no fucking likes don't look at no views don't look at none of that shit because right now you know so just like us we plan our building. Seed, we building you know yeah. what i'm saying we building together so it's like at the end of the day just keep going because they go follow they go they don't it, follow. It's, it's, it's gonna come a point in time where motherfuckers gonna look back at this and they're gonna be like damn he got all these videos and follows now i remember you know what i'm saying yeah. so just keep going right now it's just you know what i'm saying you're just putting in the work so do not give up. Girl, yes, do and not you. Give up. My new we your sister. We your sisters. We your sisters. So y'all better not mess with him. Or I'm gonna come fight you. I'm just saying. <laughs> the next, you know the, the next time. Sister, look, y'all. the next hey. time somebody tell him to get this shit and get up at the house, all you gotta do is shoot a text and we pulling up. We pulling up. Like Swear what's up? Swear like what's good? But thank you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Then that other dude that came in that room when he was in there getting that good good. Like you better get out that fucking room and let him get that good dick. But I'm no. just saying. You know. No, for real. For real. <laughs> No, for real. Ain't nothing with him, honey. No, for real. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank y'all for being here. We hope to come back. Oh. Ain't no hope. We coming back. They coming back. Yeah, they coming back. Y'all gonna see. They gonna be familiar faces. And hashtag yeah. no filter. Yeah. So y'all don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Comment, like, subscribe. Comment, comment like, like, subscribe. And let me comment. And then like, like and subscribe. What's <laughs> <laughs> up?